Spice Girl Show. Friendship, girl power, and platform sneakers, the 90s never ended. Decades later, the anthems and fashion of the iconic girl group are back on repeat. Some may argue that the styles, music, and even the theme of girl power never actually ended. It's a spice world and we're just living in it. Although some may think that the band was a product of cowl creations, such as the boy band One Direction, the Spice Girls actually have a different story. After seeing an ad in the Stage magazine, the ladies, along with 400 other hopeful performers, showed up to an open call audition for a girl band. The five girls got together and formed a group starting from the bottom of the ladder to fame. Working together for a couple of years, they shared a rehearsal space at Trinity Studios outside of London, England where they practiced their music and dancing. The girls worked on putting together an album on their own, without a label backing them just yet. At the time, the bandmates were all living together in a shared house. While Jerry and Victoria were a bit older, Emma was the youngest, at just 18. Jerry Hollowell recalled the good times when she stated, Five girls living together in a small, three-bedroom house in Maidenhead, just outside London, was lots of fun, albeit at times tricky. I was the oldest at 22 and had already experienced living away from home, so the other girls probably found me to be quite bossy. After recording their first demo, funded by promises to return favors, the girls' sound and personas were polished and they signed with Virgin Records. In an interview with Stephen Colbert, Mel B revealed how the Spice Girls acquired their catchy names. The iconic titles were coined by, as Mel B puts it, a lazy journalist. That one is a bit posh, that one's a bit sporty. That one's a bit baby, and they just kind of stuck. And so, Baby Spice, Scary Spice, Posh Spice, Ginger Spice, and Sporty Spice were born. Before ever meeting or conceiving of the idea of a girl group, the members of the band were all working towards careers in entertainment in their own ways. Emma Bunton was a child catalog model. As a teen, she made an appearance on the British TV show The Bill, as well as a small role in the 1993 film To Play the King. Victoria Adams loved music and fashion. Mel Brown was a lover of dancing, getting into a modeling career as a teen. Melanie Chisholm competed on a gymnastics team as a child and was part of her high school drama club. Jerry Hollowell was also pursuing entertainment while working as an on-stage assistant for a Turkish TV game show. Luckily, fate and talent brought the ladies together to form one of the most successful female groups of all time. What set this new band apart, other than being a girl group in an industry that, at the time, was dominated by male and boy bands, was their stray from the 90s trope of the girl next door. Instead, the Spice Girls allowed their true personalities to shine through in interviews and on stage. With such diverse messages being delivered through each member's archetype and style, they portrayed a wide variety of femininity. That's what girl power is all about. When their first single, Wannabe, dropped, the members ranged in age from 21 to 25. According to their album and tour sales, the Spice Girls were the biggest thing to come out of British music since the Beatles. Novices or not, these girls were already professionals. They reportedly filmed the music video for Wannabe in one take. The video itself ended up being a tad risque, and the record execs pushed for an alternative American version. But the girls insisted on keeping their vibe authentic. Jerry Hollowell told Marie Claire this was our video and this is what we wanted. The Spice Girls came about at an interesting time for music and the world. Their mantra of girl power and fighting for the right to be themselves, however different that may be, put them at the forefront of a new wave of feminism. The girls' ideas of women's empowerment and equality were arguably ahead of their time, with movements like Me Too coming almost two decades later. Their reputation for being outspoken about issues separated them from average singing groups who focused on broad marketing and keeping everyone 
anyone happy. They weren't afraid to say what they wanted with lyrics like, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. If you want my future, forget my past, don't go wasting my precious time. What the Spice Girls did for a generation of fans was empower young people to go after their dreams and be themselves. Their version of feminism was down to the bare essentials, power, equality, and fun. It was flawed at times, but also so relatable for all ages. That's powerful. In December of 1997, the world premiere of the film Spice World landed in the UK. At the time, the success of their first album, Spice, was already leading them on a path to becoming the top-selling group in the UK. While filming their movie, the group was also working on their upcoming album, Spice World. The film was used as both a way to keep fans interested and propel sales of their new music, but it became so much more than that. The film combined genres as a musical, a mystery, and a satire of the extreme personas attributed to each of the band's members. Using the movie-within-a-movie narrative, the film became a parody about what it was like to live the life of a pop star as young 20-somethings in the UK. The red London-style double-decker bus became a favorite among young fans, who marveled at the fictionalized mode of travel used by their beloved girl group. The aesthetic completely embraces the campy style of the group as a whole, letting that drive the visuals of the film. The cult film earned over $100 million worldwide. Part of being their true selves meant that the Spice Girls members were individualistic in their styles and fashions, not necessarily following major trends, but setting the trends wherever they went. The film's costume designer, Kate Karen, spoke with InStyle magazine and said, This was not a normal movie in the sense that you have a story to tell with costumes. It was more like a fashion showcase. The girls' looks from the film, performances, and their street style inspired many trends that are still popular now. Wow, decades later. Scary Spice's uniform of animal print and natural hair has become a staple of recent trends. Sporty Spice's retro sportswear with her waterproof tracksuits, high-waisted workout pants paired with a sports bra, outfits basically seen on every fitness influencer now. Spice Girls were also first on the scene to rock platform shoes, dad trainers, and chunky sneakers. A trend of the 90s back with a vengeance in 2020. Although oversized sunglasses saw an era in the early 2000s, the 90s look of tiny sunglasses with hardly any frame are also back on the scene. But the Spice Girls were the first. Most iconic of all is the Union Jack dress that was worn by Ginger Spice. The mini dress became an instant hit, sparking imitations by many designers and clothing stores around the world. For the 1997 Brit Awards, Jerry Hollowell was given a black mini dress by Gucci to wear. She decided to stitch a tea towel of the Union Jack flag to the front and a peace sign on the back, and paired it with tall red boots. In 2007, designer Cavalli redesigned the dress to embody the essence of what Jerry hoped it meant for British people, and covered it in red, blue, and white crystals. The original dress was later auctioned off for charity and purchased by the Hard Rock Cafe for over 41,000 British pounds. The sale broke a Guinness World Record for the most expensive item of pop star clothing sold at auction. It's without a doubt that these young women were all about maintaining their authenticity and being true to themselves throughout the Spice Girls' journey. That also meant having people around who were out for their best interest. Spice Girls is fundamentally about friendship. Mm -hmm. You know, that is what this group runs on. You know, we've got mm -hmm. five best mates here. The group ended up firing two managers. First was Heart Management in 1995, who they learned was not being honest with them. Then, in 2005, they let go of Simon Fuller of 19 Entertainment, soon before their group contracts were officially ended. After two successful albums, a world tour, and a fan-loved film, the band was on top of the world, but also was about to near its end. Are we not missing somebody? We are. Unfortunately, Jerry's not very well tonight. Ginger Spice, a.k.a. Jerry Hollowell, abruptly left the group in 1998. In an interview with Oprah, the singer said, There was a bit of disruption in the band. It was like, you're getting on my nerves and I don't know how to talk this through, so I'm out of here. She also stated, It felt like it had grown into this huge monster, bigger than the individuals, bigger than the band itself. She later admitted that her departure was, quote, quite immature. After Ginger was out, the demanding schedule became too much for the young performers. 
the strain of Hollowell's departure hurt the foundation of the group. Sadly, I would like to confirm that I have left the Spice Girls. Soon afterward, the remaining four members released their third album, Forever, but by 2000, they announced an indefinite hiatus. After the group disbanded, most of its members went on to continue to work in the entertainment industry. Post Spice Life, Jerry, who of course was the first to step down from the group, produced a few solo albums and worked as a guest host for The X Factor. Within a year of leaving the Spice Girls, she released an album titled Schizophonic. She also went on to write two autobiographies about her time in the girl power spotlight. Jerry is the author of a series of children's books based on a fictional character named Eugenia Lavender. She married Formula One racer Christian Horner and is now Jerry Horner. Emma Bunton, otherwise known as Baby Spice, began a solo career of her own. She released four albums under her own name, including Free Me and My Happy Place. Until 2018, she worked as a radio host for the Heart Breakfast Show in London. She also appeared on the reality series Boy Band, helping wannabe performers in a competition. Emma and her partner Jade Jones are parents to son Bo and Tate. Mel B, also known as Scary Spice, starred in her own American TV reality show called Mel B, It's a Scary World. Mel B also released several solo albums and notably appeared as a judge on America's Got Talent alongside Simon Cowell, Heidi Klum, and Howie Mandel. In 2017, she also starred in a Broadway production of Chicago, although admitted to having a difficult time pinning down the accent. Mel Melanie Chisholm, who was better known as Sporty Spice, also went on to release a few solo albums including The Sea in 2011, Stages in 2012, and Northern Star in 1999. Since 1998, she sold 20 million copies of her solo album. She has a top 10 hit as a duet with Brian Adams called When You're Gone. Melanie also worked as a songwriter in the UK, landing 11 number one songs on the UK charts. With her multiple solo hits, Mel C came out on top with the highest ranking solo career of her former bandmates. Victoria Adams, also known as Posh, soon became Victoria Beckham after marrying soccer star David Beckham. She signed a solo deal with Virgin Records and produced a solo album that hit number one in the UK. Victoria continued to capitalize on her fame, creating a fashion line and eventually building up the Beckham name into a business empire along with her husband. And ladies and gentlemen, here are the Spice Girls. By 2007, all members of the former band were ready for a reunion tour, and they set out for a world tour called Return of the Spice Girls. In 2012, the girls became a Twitter sensation when they made an appearance during the closing ceremonies of the Summer Olympics, inspiring hundreds of thousands of tweets during their performance. In 2018, the ladies announced a reunion tour. Their early fans, now mostly grown up in their 20s, flocked to purchase tickets for the 2019 Spice World Tour. The girls, minus Posh, went on a 13-date tour of major cities in the UK. It was their first time touring together in a decade. Although Posh wasn't present for the reunion, all five of the members are still in contact and somewhat close. Victoria shared in an interview with The Guardian that she knew she may feel some regrets about not being part of the tour. She said, I'm sure when they are on stage, a part of me will feel a bit left out because a part of me will always be a Spice Girl. It's true what they say say, friendship never ends. Jerry also shared that before the planned reunion tour, all five members met up to discuss the event and that Victoria, although unable to participate, was extremely supportive. Jerry said, we have this thing that's girls support girls, women support women. The Spice Girls is very inclusive. The five of us have always had this thing where we support each other on and off the stage. When asked if they still consider their mantra to be girl power or if it had evolved into woman power, Jerry responded that now it's more or less people power. Emma chimed in to say, we're about bringing everyone together. We want to give women confidence and a voice. For their 2019 reunion, the group appeared in a few interviews in which they discussed the lasting impression of the Spice Girls and what their focus on girl power meant for so many fans. The Spice Girls were meaningful to an entire generation of women, including many pop artists of today, like Beyonce, Adele, and Lady Gaga. I 
I used to do Spice Girl concerts for all my family and their friends. Who were all inspired by Spice Girls' music and style. Now with their reunion tour, Spice Girls have become known to the new generations, with their music and even their fashion coming back around, as art often does. I think girl power's been around forever. In an interview with YouTube's Lorraine, Emma revealed that all of the members still have their famous sparkly microphones, a memory of their glittering impact on millions of fans and viewers. COVID pending, the ladies are also planning another world tour in 2021, covering America, the UK, and Australia. A gang of 90s pop stars now grown up have forever left a mark on their massive fan base. Do you think the group's focus on girl power had a bigger impact than the girls realized at the time? Let us know what you think in the comments, and subscribe to The Taco for more fun videos. Bye for now.